Three million American servicemen and women passed through this facility during World War II, but not much goes on here now. That will change markedly if the graphics arts industry responds to the city's proposal to turn this facility into a center for printing and related companies. Printers need a lot of space for their business, and one million square feet is included in the plan, which will invest some $33 million of city money to guarantee low rent, tax reductions, energy discounts, grants to cover relocation costs, and low interest loans for new equipment and improvements. You might wonder why the city would spend $33 million on this project. The answer is as American as apple pie competition. There is enormous competition among cities and states for attracting businesses. If New York doesn't take this kind of action, the printing business will simply move away to other areas that do offer incentives. New Jersey would love to have New York's graphics arts companies because more than 75,000 jobs are involved. It is the city's second largest industry, and it's said that in the last 20 years, there's been a significant exodus of companies seeking lower rents, lower taxes, cheaper energy. If we're going to stop that flight, it takes innovative plans like this one, which specifically answer the needs of the companies involved. The management of WPIX commends the Koch administration for this forward-looking proposal. We hope the graphics arts industry takes full advantage of it. What's your opinion? We'd like to know. I'm Rose Marie. And I'm Robert Stack, inviting you to spend your days with us. It's a great life. A glamorous guide to the best of everything. All About Us is about the everyday heroes all around us who inspire our hopes, our fears, our dreams. What's hot? What's not? We'll separate sizzlers from lukewarm. From stone cold dead. In day. Daytime television that, that doesn't, doesn't waste, waste your day. day. Beginning Monday, October 7th at 11 on Channel 11. Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, and Edward G. Robinson star in John Huston's classic, Key Largo, Tuesday night at 8 on Channel 11. Four of television's best, Ralph, Alice, Norton, and Trixie, in the Honeymooners' anniversary celebration. Tonight at 8, only on Channel 11. This is WPIX-TV, New York. 